Elon Musk has been in some drama or the other since he took over Twitter. And while the billionaire has his plans regarding the social media app, they're a little confusing. In this video, we'll talk about how Apple and Twitter are on a collision course. Also, Elon Musk pokes fun at Stay Woke shirts found at Twitter HQ. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. First up, there's a lot of tension. I was talking about with electric cars. Um, that was not a, big, a winning conversation. <laughs> so it was a bit of a monologue, was it? Yeah, she said, uh, she, she said the first question I asked her was, do you ever think about electric cars? One of the biggest risks to Musk's vision for the app is that he might get into trouble with big tech companies like Apple and Google. Basically, the app can't really work if the two companies are on the outs with the owner. Because Twitter goes hand in hand with them, it needs them to boost its software and update it from time to time. And there's been a lot of tension because Musk already complained about the fees that Google and Apple charge companies like Twitter. He complained about how Apple and Google take about a 15 to 30 percent cut from the purchases made inside the apps. And when we said that tension's brewing, we meant it. Recently, Phil Schiller, the former head Apple marketing executive, deleted his Twitter account. Mind you, he had a large following. And not to forget, he still looks over the App Store. It's no joke that Twitter's already seen rock bottom since Musk joined, and the company's app is at serious risk. Moving on, there's beef about revenue. Twitter and Apple have been working together for years now, and not just for entertainment purposes, but professional as well. Apple has even promoted the new iPhones through tweets, and they even use it to make official announcements. But the relationship seems to have gotten a little shaky since Elon has started generating a large revenue from subscriptions. In 2021, Twitter reported a revenue of $5.08 billion. Hundreds of millions of dollars would wind up going to Apple and Google if half of that comes from subscriptions in the future, as Musk has stated is the plan. This would be a tiny sum for them, but maybe a huge blow to Elon's company. One of Apple's key guidelines is that all digital material, including gaming coins, avatar clothing, premium subscriptions, and other items must be purchased through the company's in-app payment system, which charges the users directly. Apple retains 30% of revenues, dropping to 15% for subscriptions after a year and gives the remaining funds to the developer. Many companies have complained about its way of earning money and how it isn't fair. But there's one thing that Musk can do to avoid the Apple charges. Follow the method Spotify uses. Spotify offers a lower price on the web, and it doesn't have to pay Apple a cut there. Then, the users simply log into their existing account. Users who subscribe to a premium account inside the iPhone app have to pay $12.99, while web users pay $9.99. Or, Twitter can go ahead and stop offering subscriptions through Apple completely, just like Netflix did in 2018. Following up, the content moderation debate. Now we're all aware of how big of a fan the Tesla owner is of free speech. And while he'd like to do what he wants to do with his app, unfortunately for him, Apple and Google have a say in it. The two companies have the power to decline or approve apps that violate their rules over content moderation and hateful speech, and it isn't something that hasn't happened before. Apple previously removed 30,000 apps for hateful content. The two tech giants can remove apps for a lot of reasons, from security issues to billing rules. And in the past few years, both companies have been keeping a close eye on rules that might lead to hate speech and harmful content. In simpler words, they're big on content moderation. So, there's a chance that they can completely ban Twitter. In 2020, the tech giants banned Parler, a smaller app that had people supporting the U.S. Capitol riot. In Apple's case, the decision is taken by a panel of executives. And you know who's one of the members of these executives? Schiller. Yep, the same Schiller who deleted his account on Twitter. Are you understanding the gravity of the situation now? What's more, Musk fired content moderators. The question we have right now is that Elon recently fired content moderators. And even though he said that there will be a council, there hasn't been any mention of a council yet. While they haven't really talked talked about banning the app yet, they can because future features of the app are calling for it. Twitter is a wide site, and it's possible to overlook hateful content that hasn't been flagged. That is why a lot of the posts and users don't really get in trouble. Still, the new version of the app and the newest features that the SpaceX owner wants to add might prompt Apple and Google to take a closer look at the Bird app. Musk has plans to introduce a paywall user-generated videos feature, which might have to do with being able to watch adult content. Now when there's plenty of that on the internet already, why would he want it on Twitter as well. Apple App Store has never allowed and this policy dates back to its founder Steve Jobs. The same is the case with Google. So basically, Musk is just setting himself up at this point, because Twitter allows adult content right now as well. Coming up, Musk is cleaning closets at Twitter. We're all aware of what's happening on Twitter. Literally, the moment after Musk took control, things went and they've been going down south since. In recent news, he's been cleaning closets. No, literally, he's cleaning closets. And looks like the billionaire has a lot of time on his hands since he's laughing at some of the old stuff he found while he was on his cleaning spree. 
spree. Very relatable, honestly. Y'all ever start playing with the random stuff you find while cleaning? Well, that's exactly what happened to Elon as well. He found a stack of unworn, stay woke t-shirts, and he couldn't help but laugh at those. The Tesla owner shared a video on Twitter of him holding up one of the shirts with one of the more slogans. The video got more than 10.2 million views in just hours. He captioned the video, found in a closet at Twitter HQ for real, with two laughing emojis. And it wasn't just Musk who was in the video. If you listen closely, you can hear someone laughing while Musk is talking, telling him that Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey himself wore the shirts in 2016. We honestly aren't sure what was so funny about it, because by the looks of it, Musk broke into a laughing fit, talking about how there's an entire closet full of hashtag woke t-shirts. Moving on, the video infuriated a lot of people. Infuriated fans and angry tweets aren't something new for the SpaceX owner. At this point, we believe that it's a side hustle for him. Anyway, his tweet got more than 370,000 likes, and while all these likes may look nice, people weren't very happy with him. One user got particularly offended and snapped at the Tesla CEO, saying that he loves losing potential Tesla customers. They also bragged about how they have more than enough money to buy a Tesla or home electrical system, but the user also made sure to inform everyone, including Musk, that they won't be wasting any penny on someone who demeans people who care about other people. A former Twitter employee, Shabon Messiah, asked Musk to send the shirts to them. Messiah also low-key dissed Musk by asking if anyone's still at the San Francisco office. Another ex-employee told Musk to send them the shirts because they'd rather distribute them on their own than know that they've been tossed in the trash. The former employee said that they worked hard on that merch. Finishing up, Musk and his controversial tweet. It's safe to say that Elon's had his fair share of controversial tweets. And even though he deleted this one, fans aren't letting it go. He revealed in the now-deleted tweet that the shirts he was laughing at stemmed from the Ferguson protest. They were made to protest against the 2014 Missouri police shooting of the 18-year-old Michael Brown. Obama's own DOJ proved this and exonerated the cop, Musk pointed out Officer Darren Wilson, who quit the force but was never charged. The tweet which is now deleted was pretty problematic. It read, Hands up, don't shoot was made up, basically just disregarding everything the people protest against. Apparently, Musk thinks the cry by the protester, who said that the teenage kid had his hands up in surrender but was still fatally shot, is a lie. Musk said that the whole thing was fiction. He he then deleted the tweet and posted a copy of the Federal Report, which said that there was no proof that Michael had his hands up. Elon deleted his tweet to avoid the hate that would have come towards him, but he still went on and defended his stance. He said, while acknowledging critics at the Ferguson protests, if you believe in Obama's DOJ, were based on the wrong premise. He also called the shooting self-defense. We're convinced that he has a thing for pissing people off. And just to make everything right, Elon said he wasn't invalidating other injustices. And just when we thought he wasn't that bad, he went on to defend his stance once again saying that this wasn't one of those injustices. Okay, Musk, we hear you. Anyway, that's a wrap for today's video. What do you think Twitter will do to circumvent Apple and Google's cut? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. Having said that, see you in the next one. Peace.